Blue Dragon Taekwondo is the area's leading martial arts facility. Learn self-defense, get in shape, and have fun in the process. Master instructor Dave Colger and his crew welcome all new students of all skills and rank. Come learn from the best. Come learn how to defend yourself. Come and enjoy the excitement of martial arts from Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Now offering a birthday party special with a night of Taekwondo fun for you and up to 20 of your closest friends. A lot has changed since 1966, but your local banking partner, First Federal Savings Bank, hasn't. We've evolved. By combining today's technology with our timeless service to make banking more convenient and enjoyable, First Federal locally services every loan we do. We pay standard closing costs for first-time homebuyers, free pre-approvals, FHA and USDA loans are available as well. Apply today. As I've said for 50 years, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. Sit back and enjoy Indiana, that's where I belong.
knows a lot of town names. I am quite sure that I have never heard of many of them. How about you, James? I must admit that several of those town names were new to me. Of course, if we went back in time before Indiana became a state, there would have been other interesting American Indian names of villages in the Indiana region. You know, James, all around our state, evidence of Indiana villages can be found. Many Indian arrowheads and other artifacts have been uncovered all around Indiana. Some areas still have American Indian mounds that were built long ago. On quiet evenings, perhaps we could hear conversations of American Indians in the gentle evening breeze. You know, voices of the past. Hmm. That could make a really good poem. As the gentle evening breeze flows by, I can hear... James, James, not now, please. Let the students sing their song honoring the American Indians of Indiana. Boys and girls. Very well.
me, <clears throat> would you like to hear my new poem about Indiana Indians? It begins like this. Today, we still hear... I'm it. sorry, Mr. Riley. We really need to move on with our walk through Indiana history. Could I read it to you later, Mrs. Porter? Of course, James. I would be delighted to hear it. You know, one of my favorite Indiana historical characters is George Rogers Clark. Do you remember studying about him in school, Mrs. Porter? Why, well, yes, I do. That was incredible how Clark and his small army of men recaptured Fort Sackville of Vincennes in 1779. He sure outsmarted British Lieutenant Governor Henry Hamilton, didn't he? Right. The idea to attack the fort in the middle of winter was brilliant. Lieutenant Colonel George Rogers Clark and his men had to make a difficult journey through bad weather and a lot of water. But they did make it. Many years ago, George Rogers Clark said, A few men well conducted can make all the difference. Let's hear a song about George Rogers Clark and his brave men. Our first set of laws. 
Then on December 11, 1816, it was official. We joined the United States as the 19th state. Jonathan Jennings served as the first governor of Indiana. You know, Jean, I heard it was one hot summer in 1816 in Corydon. It's a good thing that that large elm tree down the street was there for shade for our delegates. That reminds me of one of my poems, The Old Swimming Hole. Would you like for me to recite it for you, Mrs. Porter? Not right now, Mr. Riley. Go ahead, students, and sing about our first state capital, Corydon. He became known as an excellent reader and rail splitter. 
Abe Lincoln also faced adversity here in Indiana. Abe's mother Nancy died in 1818 when Abe was only nine years old. Years later, his sister Sarah died, died while childbirth. But Abe also had fun times growing up in our state. Abraham Lincoln grew from a boy to a man here in Indiana. Here's a song about Abe's time here. Then, 
that given the chance in the future, he would stop slavery in America. Many other people thought that slavery was wrong too. They helped runaway slaves escape to the north. The secret network was called the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad was truly a road in the night for escaping slaves.
Freddie, I have a question for you. <laughs> okay, Jane, fire away. I'm sure I've got an answer for you, or at least I'll make up a good one. I'm sure you could. Here it is. Where on earth did the name Hoosier come from? Hmm. Honestly, no one really knows for sure. Some say it comes from the word who, which means I hill. I once heard something about a man named Hoosier who hired him from Indiana. They became known as Hoosier's men. I'm not so sure about that one, Mr. Riley. Personally, I like this one. About a pioneer fight where a feller bites off or cuts off the ear of another feller. <laughs> then later someone walks in, looks down and says, who's here? Pretty good, huh? Uh, a little too far fetched for me, Mr. Riley. I just know that we are both proud to be called Hoosiers. Let's hear a song about our Hoosier name.
Timbercrest Senior Living Community offers residents a culture of self-respect, dignity, and security in a serene atmosphere on 104 beautiful acres in North Manchester, Indiana. Timbercrest offers a comprehensive range of services and supportive care designed to meet your needs throughout the many stages of life. Come be a part of our community. Let us customize a living plan tailored to you. Online at timbercrest.org.